Yep, that's what the coral was calling. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap to crap. That's real bad. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. No, get back here. Ow. Oh boy. Save Alex. Um, how, how do I... Okay, I need to... I, I need... Whoa! Fabricate the thing. Uh, access the self-destruct consoles. Uh, save, save Alex. Go to Alex. Get to Alex before he dies. Okay. Oh god. Let's get to the door. Ow. Mother fuck. Ow. I feel like it's attacking me. Maybe I can help you. Yeah, maybe you can. Can you heal me? Jesus, it really is. It really is attacking me. I honestly feel so attacked right now. Oh god, there he goes. Well, he's not dead. I didn't kill him. I don't know if this works. I don't know if this counts. I think it does, because I got him to the door. Uh... Oh man. It's like it's calling out, but to what? I don't know, maybe the rest of the fucking thing? Oh, so you're telling me that it's these creatures with psychic powers that can generate fire and electricity and teleport, be invisible, can warp across massive amounts of space? Who would have thought? Warning. What? You anticipated the kind of appeal Alex would make. Sibling bonds, history. You programmed me to refute him point by point. However, we can skip that. A typhon... I totally saved him. Totally saved him. Oh. Uh. You have to put him in his safe room. Fuck it. I don't care. He's dead. The size of a skyscraper is currently eating Talos 1 for lunch. Ergo, Alex is wrong. Destroy the station, just as you planned. The blast will take the monster down with it. I'm not so sure about that, January. <laughs> that creature is still trying to consume the station. And I've picked up multiple hull breaches. Great. I believe in you, Morgan. Make this count. Well, here we are. Hopefully you'll never have to listen to this recording, but if you do, then something unfortunate's happened to me. I suspect you will be enough by now to abandon the notion of destroying Talos One. I've always been the one who thought we couldn't be trusted to play with fire without burning the house down. But you convinced me that we could do anything we imagined. No matter how ridiculous. I hope you still believe that. If not, then I'm glad I died before seeing my sister succumb to pessimism. 
We have the data to confirm what you suspect. The coral is broadcasting a neural signal. A secret message reaching out to the stars. What I want to know is what is the message? And who is listening to it? I have a feeling you already know. I'm carrying a fabrication plan for the prototype null wave device you conceived. Make one, then place it at the heart of the coral. We will hijack the coral signal and use it to deliver a massive shock to every Typhon organism at once. Good luck, Morgan. I just regret. I won't be at your side to see it happen. Uh, hi, Kaz. Hello. We are in the middle of, uh, trying very hard not to die. Oh god, there are so many windows on this motherfucking space station. I hate it. I hate how many windows there are. Oh god. Privet Morgan. Hi. Okay. We need... the device. Oh god, where Morgan. is it? Where is it? Uh, prototype null wave transmitter. We need three metal, which we don't have, so we need to cannibalize some stuff. Transfer our junk. No metal in there. How much metal do we have? Just under one. Okay. I'm gonna add these. We're going to add. We need how much metal? Three. This will get us 2.4. We have 0.8. This is fine. Alright. Make it. I have a suspicion. that this will not actually do what we want it to. Place the null wave device in psychotronics. Oh god, that's so far. Okay. We can do this. How many bolts do I have? Well, I'm not getting any more. <laughs> I'm so glad we increased our run speed. I have a suspicion this isn't actually going to destroy the Typhon, it's just going to like make it stronger or something. I feel like this device, the idea for this device was like implanted, this is, this is me getting all tinfoil hat, I feel like the idea for this device was implanted in our minds by the Typhon, and so it is going to help them and not us. That's what I think. Um, the reason why I'm going for this instead of blowing up the station is, uh, I don't trust that blowing up the station would actually destroy the larger Typhon creature. If the idea hasn't oh, occurred to you, I'm this sure is it will eventually. Shuttle? Don't do Shut up, January. Um, I don't think it will actually destroy the huge Typhon thing around the space station in like, completely. I don't think it will eradicate the whole thing. And there is a risk of blowing little bits of it back to Earth, which would be very bad. So, even though I don't know that this null wave transmitter thing will work, it's sort of the best case scenario if it does. Heart of the coral, right. Leave in the heart of the coral. Don't get stabbed by the crazy giant monster outside the windows. Ooh. I am absolutely going to watch speedruns of this after I've beaten it. Just like the movement, once you get the movement, uh, Neuromods, 
The movement's pretty fun. Alright, 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 alright. Okay, 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 okay. We can do this. We got this. Oh, that's not good. Now, we need to go up somehow. Up to the atrium, there will be bad guys here, I'm sure of it. Containment. Yep, yep, here we go. I don't remember how to get into the middle area. Ah, uh, through here. Requesting new operator. Uh, is this a bad guy? Yep. N dash C N nine black box operator ready to deploy. Please stand clear of the aperture. Uh, how do I get out here? How do I get out? Let me through. Run the test. Run the goddamn test. Live exam controls. Open containment shield. Oh, here we go. Requesting new operator. Damn it, that's not it. I need to go over here. Heart of the Coral, here we go. Place the device. massive gamble that there aren't more predators like the Typhon. In the history of the universe, humans have only recently become self-aware. Yet sure, you're going whatever. to kick the door open on a much wider and older cosmic ecology. One that feeds Maybe. on consciousness. These Not are shark-infested waters. Alex believes we can be the bigger shark, but what if we're just poor swimmers, and now there's blood in the water? You don't know that. And this head they're getting worse. Like teeth in the brain sinking in. You feel it? Am you? Screaming is louder now. Getting close. I think screams are coming from the future. And you. Screams of people on Earth. Screams an animal makes one caught in a hunter's jaw. Ow. Oh, you're from Neuroimaging shows your psychoactive potential is at or near peak level. Oh, hi. Why are the device controls so far away? Why can't I just activate the device from where I planted it? Who designed this thing? Hello. I have limited shots. Alright, 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 okay, 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 okay. Jesus, we're at nine hours now. Ooh.
That is a lot. I have been up for 19 hours? Yeah. Yep. 19 hours. This is fine. <laughs> I'm wide awake. This has got me, uh, this has got me pretty amped. <laughs> Elevator? Arboretum, probably? Yeah. Jesus. I can't believe it's letting me take this- oh god. It's like... Becoming one with the station. This is so fucked. Alright, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Just gotta activate this thing and hope it works. And see if we'd taken the escape pod or if we'd taken the shuttle, this thing would have showed up anyway. Hello, white noise. Minor gravity detected. Oh god. Uh, doubt it. Ah, 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 ah. We died. Okay. It's hard to control, uh, being in, in zero G or low G. Let's try that again. Gravity detected. I think it's most efficient to go and then do a full stop and then redirect and then you know and just do that multiple times. Going to the bridge. Have we been to the bridge before? If so, it's been a long time. Hopefully it has gravity. Just gotta press a big button, right? Just gotta press a big red button. That's all we gotta do. That's it. That's it. This is a waste of time. I'm not gonna use this turret. I'm just gonna keep running a bunch and shotgunning. <laughs> But I'm gonna repair it. Oh, whoops, wrong way. Oh, I did, person. Hi, January. Please reconsider. Trust your former self, the one that isn't morally bankrupt. Your assessment, Morgan. Not mine. The directives you gave me require I do everything in my power to ensure you destroy Talos One and all the Tyson. Detonating the station safeguards the Earth and perhaps provides a small measure of reparation. You know how neuromods are made. The demand will only increase. In the future, Alex envisions, many will die for the benefit of a privileged few. I won't relinquish control of the terminal. If you want to activate the Norway,
Whoa. That's some bad shit. All right, I am. I am going to save. And then we're gonna go through with it. Save game. I'm actually gonna save again, just to make sure it's on a different slot. I'm sorry, January. <laughs> I got an achievement called Suicide by Proxy. Are you kidding me? That's the end? What? I... I definitely saw a Typhon. So is that supposed to tell us that we failed? Oh. Or is this just is this just the beginning when it first happened? I don't I don't know what we're looking at with this credit sequence. This pre-rendered credit sequence. Evidently. Based on the fuzziness of the text. I... I... I'm not confused. Like, I'm a little confused by this credit sequence. Like, I understand. We used the null wave transmitter, and it destroyed the Typhon. Great. But that... That was like a 30 second cutscene. This game was like 20 hours, 25 hours long. And, and the ending is a 30 second cutscene that just says, you did it. There's this whole thing with January being like, you can't, you can't trust this. I have to stop you. you, you your only choice is to kill me and do this or to not kill me and go, you know, blow up the station. And then... Like... What happens after this? Did we successfully destroy the Typhon? And if so, like... What does that mean for Neuromods? I just... another cutscene? There's more credits. I... okay. So... We're 
we're just gonna mute that real quick. Oh god damn it. There we go. Um I uh I have some feelings about this game. It was pretty good. It definitely picked up toward the end. Uh, like the beginning was really intriguing. The end was really action packed. And uh, there were interesting choices to make. But I mean, part of the problem with having a game where your choices have an impact, right? Where you can make choices and, and it's not just railroady, is you need to make it clear that you have choices. Um, this game obviously borrowed a lot of its DNA from Bioshock, uh, both in the gameplay has a lot of the same DNA, and the fact that it's it's a um, isolating. Uh, non like being underwater and being in space are functionally very similar in a lot of ways um and uh both of those settings had this like sort of anachronistic um 40s aesthetic both of them had superpowers i'm not saying they're the same game right i'm not i'm not trying to say that they the developers that made prey copied bioshock i don't think that's the case but they possess a lot of the same elements. But if you look at Bioshock, which is another game with similar notes and uh, that, that same, you know, you make choices and they actually matter to the narrative, it makes it very clear when you have a choice, right? Like with the little sisters, it gives you a fucking UI pop up that's like, do you do this or do you do this? And while, like, toward the end, I got the sense of what the choices were, there were a lot of things at the beginning that I was like, is this a choice, or is is it not actually a choice? Um, yeah, yeah, I don't know. <sighs> the minigame, the hacking minigame sucked. Like, I got pretty good at it by the end, but it sucked. It was not good. Um, but at the same time, like, the gameplay was fun. If I had been less worried about all the turrets turning on me, I would have dumped more of our neuromods into the uh, psionics stuff, and I think that would have been a lot of fun. But again, the trade-off is pretty heavy there. Right, like the the trade off of okay, you're gonna get shot at by the all the automated turrets. Like that, with health packs as rare as they are, the damage you're saving yourself in fights against Typhon, you're gonna lose off of getting shot by turrets all the time, especially in that end section with the cargo hold with the 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 shuttle bay rather. That just yeah. Uh, let's see if there's an after credit scene. Harmonia sounds for monotype. After credit scene, a hidden location. Oh ho! Let's see if my opinions change. It's finished. How did it do? Activation of the mirror neurons is promising. Empathy quotient shows to be exceptionally high. It probably thinks it was dreaming, that nothing mattered. You're assuming it thinks like us. Its life depends on it. Ours too. It all comes down to the choices it made. It saved me from the cargo container. I would have suffocated otherwise. It installed multiple Typhon-based neuromods. It could mean an instinctive return to its own kind, or an attempt to integrate its dual natures. 
Michaela. I would have died without my medication. That wasn't easy. That says a lot, I think, about its heart. Can I say that it has a heart? Then, there was a man in psychotronics, Ingram. Things did not end well for him. But... Would you let it live? Yes. Sarah, you're next. The situation in the cargo bay was bad. None of us would have survived without its help. And it destroyed a large number of Typhon across the station. That has to be a good sign. Further, it thwarted Dor's attempt to use us as hostages. If it were one of my officers, I would give it a commendation. Danielle, what do you say? It never saw me, and it never ran into Volunteer 37. Hard to say what it would have done. There were a lot of humans controlled by the Typhon that it could have harmed. Seems like it went out of its way to avoid that. I think it's worth the risk. In the end, it chose to activate the Null Wave device. Why? To preserve the Typhon technology? We can't really know what its motives were for anything it did. But we have to make a choice. You can hear us, can't you? Here. I want to show you something. What you experienced was a reconstruction based on Morgan's memories. That's... is the world today. We spent years trying to put what you can do into us. We never tried putting what we can do into you. Until now. You're the bridge between our species. I need to know if you see us. I mean, really see us. Take my hand if you do. We're gonna shake things up, like old times. Are you fucking kidding me? Did they just, it was all a dream, us? Maybe it's because I just played this game for nine hours straight. <laughs> um, and it's four in the morning, almost 4.30 in the morning. And so I'm a little less forgiving than I usually am with games. But I feel like that would have been infinitely better. And I, I mean infinitely better, because that just was bad. If... Instead of that weird sitting in a chair cutscene thing, right? If we'd gotten a reflection, like a, a, a mirror of that first sequence at the beginning of the game, and experienced the evaluation that way, right? With like flashing into reality or something like that. Like, give us something to develop over time, right? Don't just spit back my decisions. Like, spit my decisions back out at me so that I hear them again. Like, I know what my decisions were. I... And then you could have had the dawning realization of what is happening. Like, the moment I was sitting in that chair, I was like, oh, we're Typhon. Like, I just... And I guess that, that really boils down my... Or encapsulates my feelings about this game as as a whole. The gameplay was good. It was tight. It was responsive. 
there were enough options that you could play in different ways. That's good. But the premise was, I don't want to say squandered because that's a little too harsh, but it was, it was not lived up to, right? It was not used to its best ability. A lot of the ideas present in this game were so good, were so good, but when it came to actually communicating this, those ideas, either it became too heavy-handed or it just felt like it didn't really understand what it wanted to say with that. Like, those were the only two modes. It was, uh, we, we don't know what we're saying about this game. Um, versus, like, this is exactly what we're saying. Ha ha. And then at the end with the, uh, we just try putting what makes us, us into you. Like, uh it was just a dream. I... I just... Cool. Well... Thanks for watching. <laughs> if you have been watching this live, hello. As Feral, good morning. <laughs> uh, this has been nine hours and 15 minutes of prey. Um, I mean, I did enjoy the game. I don't want to misrepresent it. I, I guess previous games I've given a, a score out of 10, right? So I would give this game <sighs> I'd give it a 7 out of 10, like a 6.5 or a 7 out of 10. It's better than average. It's got good polish. But it just like doesn't go the distance where it really should and has a couple uh, game design choices, specifically the tension between Typhon mods and turrets, and the fucking hacking minigames that were just bad design decisions. Um, and so that keeps it from getting to a, a high grade. It, it is above average, but I'm not gonna give it better than a seven. Um, I don't know what game we're gonna play next. Uh, I'm probably, I'm, no, I'm not probably going to. I am going to put a poll up on Twitter um, before next Wednesday to pick what our next game is. Um, I have a couple options. Uh, I've got some options for new stuff for like series that we haven't uh, checked out yet. Um, but there's also the option for stuff like, you know, the Banner Saga 2, since we played Banner Saga 1, uh, or a second playthrough of Near Automata. So I'm going to take a look at my library and pick out some options and put them in a poll on Twitter. Uh, the best way to keep an eye out for when that poll goes up is to follow me on Twitter, which you can do right there at Anarsis, or to check out the Discord, which the URL is right there. And um, if you're watching this on Twitter, the, the Discord shortcode is real short. So um, it will be on screen long enough that you can copy it over. Uh, and I will post an announcement on the Discord when the uh, vote goes up on Twitter so that you are notified when that happens. Um, yeah, I, wow. Uh, remember nine hours ago <laughs> when I said, I don't think it's going to take six hours for us to complete the game. Well, I was right. It didn't take us six hours. It did take us nine. Um, <laughs> I think I'm tired and I'm coming off a lot saltier than I actually am. Uh, so, 
rather than sit in the salt and the tiredness, I would like to say a big thank you to everyone who hung out with me while I played this game in chat, everyone who's been watching this on YouTube. Uh, I hope that you've enjoyed the series, uh, gripes aside. Um, and I want to say specifically for tonight's stream some thank yous. Uh, thank you again to Katie for the 4,000 bits earlier. You can see here, right, right, right here, that our, um, our bit goal is all the way up at 76%, and that is thanks to Katie and also Dragon Sparks for the 270 bits earlier tonight, um, getting us closer to that bonus one-shot of Monster of the Week. Uh, also, thank you to... Oh god, I'm gonna mispronounce this. Ta Takanasi? Takanasi? God, I really wish I knew what that was, how, or how that was pronounced. I'm very sorry. Uh, hopefully one of those two pronunciations was correct. Um, uh, Danny, Dragon Sparks for the host, and Snow Dogs for the resub. So yeah. Uh, I'm very tired. I'm gonna go to sleep. <laughs> I will say a big thank you for watching, for hanging out, for everything that you do, but most importantly, as my words fail me, and I find myself repeating them, uh, most importantly, I hope you have a wonderful morning, rest of your day. Uh, I hope you have a wonderful time. <laughs> Good night. <laughs>